What is up guys, this is the FH news, news Reviews and Tutorials and today I am back with a part 2 for how to speed up your Chrome browser. Okay, So part 2 is going to be slightly different, um, it's going to be really quick, I believe there's 5 different things unlike the first one which there was 10. So part 2 is more advanced and it is more, um, it may not apply to you depending on your um, browser version right so even for me I don't have some but I know f many people do have these options that I'm, I'm that I'm gonna say so I'm gonna list them down anyways and um, just make sure you guys all um, know about it okay so yeah all right so let's get started the first thing I want to do is uh, um, we want to go to the simple cache for HTTP option right it's um simple cache is basically a new Google caching mechanism right it works better than the old one and it relies on the file system f uh, um, for space allocation okay and the old one works slightly different alright so we want to go to flags right so if you don't if you, um, you haven't watched the first video right uh, go watch that but um, basically we just go to chrome.com uh, chrome colon slash slash flags okay um, and here we want to search for simple cache backend. Enable simple cache backend. Okay. So E and A simple. Right here. So enable simple cache backend. That's simple cache for HTTP. And we want to enable that. Okay. So it's by default most of the time it will be enabled but we want to make sure that it's enabled all the time because basically this is um, there's no reason you should be really using the old caching mechanism since the new ones a lot better it's been tested and um, everyone should be definitely o only using this I think this is just temporarily Google will in the future make it so that everyone does use uh, everyone is forced to always use the simple cache um, mechanism the new caching mechanism um, so yeah but for now it's basically default so I can revert to the old caching mechanism alright um, so yeah you just cl click the drop down and do enabled alright so that's the first thing alright so number two we want to search for is scroll prediction so this one most of you guys uh, some of you guys may not have I know I don't have it but um, those of you that do check it out and make sure to disable it so yeah I don't have scroll prediction but um, when you type this in over here and you see something you want to basically enable it okay so yeah um, maybe it's set to default right or um, uh, disabled but uh, most likely it's default but um, you want to be make sure it's set to enabled alright so that is scroll prediction the next one we want to look for is answers in suggest so this one's not here either I don't have it but um, um, some of the newer ones do have it and um, make sure to check that and along with the answers in suggest right uh, we also want to do the omnibox new answer layout okay so over here we want to do new uh, I mean enabled I, I should say uh, make sure we have this clicked enabled and basically this is also um, for the new layout it's more optimized so the other one I mentioned um, answers and suggest is basically um, it, it's just in the drop down um, if you see the answers uh, not answers but like suggestions right um, that's basically what it is and we want to make sure that it's um, enabled okay alright the next thing we want to check is raster threads All right, right here number of raster threads right um, and we want to change select four okay so when we uh, when we select four we have more threads running right uh, which will obviously um, uh, allow Chrome to move a lot more smoother but obviously this does um, matter how much memory you have on your computer if you don't have enough memory this really won't really um, benefit you but um, you should 
it's only if you have a lot of memory because on this computer I have around like 16 gigs right uh, Chrome uses around like 2 gigs I believe or 1 gig because I usually have a lot of tabs open and um, my other memory is usually free right? I usually have a lot of memory free also so um, me using 4 does um, definitely help okay so yeah you should want to try with 4 right if 4 is doesn't really help um, you should do 3 right but definitely um, check it out okay alright the next one the fifth and last one I want to say is something called maximum tiles right um, so this one was, so before we get to that I just want to mention another thing the raster thread is basically for loading images on the screen um, so it, it'll make images load faster okay Alright, so yeah, that's all I want to say. The next one is um, maximum tiles. So the tiles refer refers to um, tiles for interest areas, right? Increasing the maximum number of tiles allows uh, Chrome to show. Um, okay, let me just close that. Um, increase the maximum number of tiles allows Chrome to show more tiles based on your interest or browsing history, which allows you to quickly open uh, a new website from the like if I'm an interest area okay so um, I don't believe I have this either but if you do have it no so because I don't have the tiles option anymore um, if you do have the tiles um, settings or options still available on your browser you do want to fix um, press the drop down right and you want to choose I believe 512 okay and 512 is the highest I believe right and then um, that should basically um, show more tiles and it should basically um, allow you to view more uh, sites quicker okay so that's the next five um, what do you call it next five t tips I had to speed up your browser um, so last thing I want to say if you do mess up on any of these options you don't know what you selected before you can always do reset to default and aside from that is there's nothing to worry about your computer won't get messed up at most the Chrome will might get messed up and then you can always uninstall and reinstall it okay and that is in a rare case also so that is very unlikely going to happen but if somehow that happens that's what you're supposed to do and you can always get it back so definitely try out these um, let me know how much faster it helped your browser right um, if it didn't I mean maybe if it didn't help your browser leave it in the comments below I really want to know um, what your guys thoughts on these are um, so yeah and if you guys have any questions leave them down below any comments leave them down below also if you like the video make sure to give it a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time